Hey everyone! So today is September the 1st, so that means that is the kickoff of my new series, 30 Days of Pinterest, and every day is going to be one Pinterest craft a day. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a wreath, a wreath form out of a pool noodle. So what you're going to need is of course your pool noodle. I don't know how, I, mean, I know you can't see the whole entire thing, but um, you can get them from the dollar store. I've also seen them at the grocery store. I got this particular one at Kroger and it was on clearance for 60 cents. What you're also going to need is a knife to cut your pool noodle. You're going to need some duct tape. I only happen to have this zebra duct tape but that should work okay. Um, I do recommend uh, like an electrical tape um, because I know this is for crafting and everything so I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'm, I'm sure the other one will be much stronger for you. You're also going to um, need scissors to cut your duct tape and then a Sharpie marker. So to get started what we're going to do is take our pool noodle I actually cut this one because this is longer than the ones that you can get at the dollar store. Now if you want a really big wreath then this is an okay size. Um, but like I said this one was just huge so this was not the size that I wanted so I cut it to about the same size as the one that I got at the dollar store was. So now what you're going to do is take your pool noodle and I suggest using a craft mat, a rotary mat, to protect your table from when you're cutting. And now what you're going to do is I'm going to use a Sharpie marker to help um, make sure that I'm marking the right end and marking it the correct way. Because sometimes when you take and you turn it and you flip it, I know I, I sit there and I get so confused and I did it a couple times and I did it wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line up my pool noodle and then I'm going to take and just do one side is going to go diagonally one way and your other side is going to go diagonally the other way. So for example this is um, what I'd cut off of one of them. So one's going to go like this and then the other one is going to go the opposite so that that way when you put them together they fit perfectly okay so and I am totally I'm just gonna actually use these as my guide so I'm gonna do it on this side so I can see it better let's do it that way let's see which way am I gonna do it do 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 let's do it this way So I've just done a diagonal line. So now I'm going to move my pool noodle the other way. Okay. All right, and then after you've marked your pool noodle, be very, very careful. If you are a child, definitely get an adult to help you with this. Do not do this yourself. Okay, I'm cutting it just like this. And then I'm going to try to keep it straight so that way I don't get mixed up. Double check. So when you do it this way, and then you can't see that the ends will fit perfectly just like this. And I know that's so hard for you to see, but I will zoom away and show you next. Okay, so once you have got your two ends and they're connected up, if you notice that makes them fit perfectly. They're both diagonal cut. Then what you're going to do is this is when another hand would be very useful. So if you have someone that can help you then you might want to ask for help. However, I'm going to attempt to do this 
by myself. Because I know if I call my husband in here to help me, the kids are going to come too. Okay. Alright. So now line it up. And you want to make sure that it stays. That's why I say that having someone else to help you will be great. Now, I don't recommend doing it too incredibly tight to where it starts to um, you know, push in. But. And then I'm just going to take and go around a few times because I want to make sure that it does not come undone. Now the reason why I choose to use a pool noodle is because it's not that the wreath forms are ridiculously expensive, but for every for anything that if I can save a few dollars, I definitely um, like to do that. So okay, now I'm gonna cut that, and then I'm gonna come. towards the center and go back the other way. And you don't have to worry about um, what's going to show because this, when you are done with what we're going to do, well, with any wreath form, if you're going to cover it like we are, then you're not going to be able to see this anyway. So I'm going to continue going around a little bit more. Make sure you've got it real good, because one that I did, my kids started playing with it, and they made one of them come loose, um, but that was because I did not have very much duct tape on it so all right and now you could totally take and just cover cover it very neatly with duct with this decorative duct tape and that would be cute too for like a kid's room and I do not suggest using that with your good scissors because the sticky part can come off so there you go that is your wreath form and let's see there you go my craft mat is, um, let's see what it is, it's 18 inches long ways, and this is, it almost goes completely, so it's about eh, 16 and a half inches in diameter um, from edge to edge. So that is your wreath form, and that's how you make it from a pool noodle. So this is Pinterest day one. So come back tomorrow and we will decorate this and I'll show you what we're going to do. So if you guys are interested in joining the 30 days of Pinterest, be sure to add a video response below and I will see you guys back tomorrow. Bye.